What's the secret to creating a believable world for these characters to exist in? One of the biggest things is looking at a film that's on paper and then deciding what's the story beyond that. So my brother and I came up with a whole backstory, what happened and why these people are here and what these organizations are doing and why they're doing it. And none of that is stated, but it's all implicit and it's all implied in like the decisions that you make when you're world building. What's the history, what happened before, and then how far back the history stretches. And so like you have a building, for example, was it abandoned in the 70s? Was it abandoned in a hurry? The reasons why it was abandoned is important, right? Because that will determine the type of wear and like the type of debris you'd have. And then another one could be like, was the area that was abandoned accessible? Because if it was accessible, then people would loot it, right? And people would graffiti it. But if it was quarantined and locked off, you'd only have really nature, right? In the urban center, I was like, oh, this person lives here and they're in a shitty situation, but they're going to do their best. So they had like potted plants outside their little house. It's just a, a list of questions, but they make it really easy like having a very specific reason for every choice you make. Like every human needs to eat. Every human needs to use the bathroom. That might not be important. You might never see it, but you need to be thinking about it. And so when I was designing those little houses, I was like, okay, well, they have like, maybe they have a little table, but they all have to go and line up this place to get their food. So then there's an insert of people lining up and then there's like a, a subtle nod to a sign that I think says like distribution center or something. And I was thinking, oh yeah, they distribute food. 